Okay, so let's take a look at your group. Um, you can see your groups here in the groups section group right on the open front page. Um, there are a couple things uh, I'd like to touch on. Number one, you can get to and see groups from this manage tab up in the upper right and or you can click view group right here. Uh, a couple other things, you should see the number of people that have been approved to be in your group, um, the description of your group, the near group. Uh, this would be any groups that you have been assigned. So it could, could be Faustoria Junior Senior High School, could be an elementary, could be only a classroom. There will be various group, groups that you might personally see. If you feel like you're not seeing uh, the correct group, you may want to talk to uh, your building administrative assistant. Uh, and or your principal to see if you're getting access to the right group. Um, but there's a few other buttons I'd like to touch on before we actually dump, jump into what the uh, demo groups or groups look like. There's, so first is this proposed new group. If you hit the proposed new group, you are going to see that you could uh, propose or create a group uh, of your own. You would name it. That's your contact. You would go in the description. And then what you would do is send that out for approval. Um, an administrator of final forms would then decide whether or not that was a uh, group they wanted to make or not. And then they would uh, give you access or deny your request um, to or deny and edit the group. And so I want to talk real quick about editing the group. If you edit the group uh, that comes here, you can edit the group name. You could edit the description, but the most important thing is the adding of students. So you can click this add students button here, or if you hit update group, uh, you can get to the same thing. So if you hit update group or add students or add some to this page, where for a split second, you'll see 1,750 students. Now, if you were to click on a name, you will not be authorized to visit that page and it will kick you back to your page. So just to show you that again, if I go to edit my group and I hit update group or add students, edit my group. If I end up here where I can see all of the other students, if I go to click on one of them, I will be denied and kicked back to my original front page. So, Let's go back here. Let's press update group. Now, if let's say I believe that Brendan Abner is supposed to be in my class, I can press this add button. Um, if I press this add button, add it can ask ask me whether I want it for approval. If I've made a mistake, I can go back and remove it sits back in the add area. You could try and add all 1,750 students. I could add individually. But if you go to add a student, it will ask for approval. Um, so if, the good news there is if you make a mistake, they can deny your request and it'll be figured out. Um, if you need someone, you just request it and they will fix it and they'll put them right in. So how do we get out of this? If you go it, the way to get out of here is to either view group or the way to hit home. And I'm going to hit home just so we can talk again a little bit about this edit button. So, so if you hit update group versus add students, one thing I've noticed is when I hit add students, I see my class. The way first, if I were to remove them, it will take them out of my class. And I would have to then request to put them back in. And so the rule of thumb here is don't add or remove unless you are absolutely certain you need to add or remove because then you will need to contact, contact a final forms administrator to get the group back to normal. So I would not add or remove unless you're absolutely certain you need to do that. But one thing that's also confusing about this, if you're thinking that you are trying to get to the add feature, so I'm going to take you back again to the front page here. I hit edit. Update group got me the whole list like this. But add, add students gets me my list and not the whole group. And the way 
to change this from my students to the whole to the whole group a little red filter. If I click this, I can get to the main group. Same thing. I can add and request, or I can choose to go back to the edit page, or I can go back to the home page. Edit page, the home, add students page. And I can either hit edit to go back to the edit page or home to go to the home page. So before we go into groups, this is what I wanted to cover in terms of proposing a new group and editing the group. Next, we will cover what it looks like to go into a group.